need a piece of paper and a pen. Does anybody have one? And you can leave it in your book. Thank you. Thank you. So what we're going to do is we're now going to focus on um, what we consider a typical vertebra. In other words, they have the typical parts to it. We're going to be working on thoracic vertebra first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now draw for you what a typical thoracic vertebra looks like. Sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. And these are the different parts of the thoracic vertebra. This right up here is referred to as the body. Okay. So this, if you remember, is the body, correct? It's the body. On the posterior side, of the vertebra, we have the what? Spinous process. Okay, so this back here is the what? Spinous process. Good. Okay. Next, laterally, moving out, we have these right here, which are represented by these lines right here, and this is the transverse process. Okay, so I'm just going to write TP over here. Transverse process. In the center, we have the hole. What is the hole called? Transverse. Not transverse foramen. Vertebral. vertebral foramen. Good. Vertebral foramen. What is the only vertebra that has a transverse foramen? Cervical. Cervical. Good. And this is a what? Thoracic. Thoracic. Okay. So we have vertebral foramen. Now, the part of the bone that connects the body to the transverse process, this right here, okay, is referred to as the pedicle. So connecting the body to the transverse process is called the what? Pedicle. So we look at the we look at the vertebra. Here's the body. Here's the transverse process. Okay? Connecting the body to the transverse process is this piece right here referred to as the what? Pedicle. Pedicle. Does everybody get that? So connecting the body to the transverse process is the what? Pedicle. Pedicle. Good. Now connecting the transverse process, the spinous process, is going to be known as the lamina. Okay, lamina. So, here is the transverse process. Here is the spinous process. Connecting the transverse process, the spinous process, is going to be the lamina. Connecting the transverse process, the spinous process, is called the what? Lamina. lamina. Does everybody have that? Okay. So this right here is called what? Spinous process. This transverse process. This. Body. So again, what's this? Spinous, Spinous process. process. Say it louder. Spinous process. This right here. Transverse process. This right here. Body. What is this? Spinous process. What's this? Transverse process. What's this? Body. We want to make the whole world know it. What's this? Spinous process. This? Transverse process. This one. Body. Good. Now whisper it. What's this? Spinous process. What's this one? Transverse process. And what's this one? Body. Very good. Okay. So what do we call the vertebral foramen? Vertebral foramen, very good. Vertebral foramen. And what do we call the one, the part of the bone that connects the transverse process to the spinous process? Lamina. Lamina. And what's the one that connects the body to the transverse process? Pedicle. Pedicle. What connects the body to the transverse process? Pedicle. Pedicle. Now, is this, when we looked at the vertebra, didn't we say that the spinous process has to point down? Yes. Okay, inferiorly. So therefore, would you agree that this is the top part of the bone? Yes. And therefore, this is the bottom part of the bone? Yes. Okay, good. Now, is this my entire head? Yes, okay, and this is my face, which is on my head, correct? Okay, so if we want to look at the term process and facet, which we're going to do in a moment, my entire head would be the process, my face would be the facet. And you'll notice that in the word facet is what? Face. face. Does everybody get that? So when we look at this, this entire structure here is referred to as the process. It's known as the superior, because it's above, articular, because it forms a joint, process. But this part of the superior articular process is called the superior articular facet. Does everybody get that? So the whole thing is known as the what? Superior, superior articular process. process. Good. And then this part, the smooth part, is called the what? Superior, superior articular facet. So the question becomes, how am I going to ask that on the exam? Fair question. If I ask you, if I put a sticker on the smooth part, okay, or I paint the smooth part, and I ask you about just the smooth part, the answer is superior articular facet. But if I'm looking for the process, I'm actually going to put it on the posterior, on the, excuse me, not the posterior side, the other side. Does everybody understand that? So on the rough side, we define it as the process, and the smooth side would be the what? The facet. Now, if this is the superior articular facet, do you think we probably have an inferior articular facet? 
What do you think? Yes. yes. So this right down here, if you look, it's a little harder to see, so we'll bring it up from the top. This right here is the inferior articulate facet. Is it going to be smooth? Yes. Inferior articular facet. Does everybody have that? Everybody got it? Okay. So that is the thoracic vertebra. What's nice is the lumbar is really not much different. What is this right here? Body. What is this? Transverse process. What's this? Transverse process. What's this right here? Connecting the body to the transverse process is the what? Medical. Good. And connecting the transverse process to the spinous process is the what? Abdomen. And what's the hole in the center? Vertebral foramen. What's it called? Vertebral What's this hole called? Vertebral What's this called? Vertebral What's this girlfriend's name? Rose. How do you spell it? R. Did she give me headaches from where to where? Anterior. Very good. What's the uh, one that's shaped like a crest? Chris This one shaped like a crest? Chris Where's Chris Degali sleep? Chris Where's Chris Degali sleep? Chris plate. Where's Chris Degali sleep? Chris Very good. Which one's shaped like a jelly bean? Jugular. Shaped like a jelly bean. Jugular. Jugular shaped like a what? Jelly. Very good. Everybody got it? Okay, go back to your table. Start.